All right, Cameron, thank you for being willing to fill in today as you're walking up. Um, Cameron was originally uh, on the schedule to present things about tourism, of course, today. And then I said, hey, can I take your day to be a part? And then I said, hey, I want you back. So she, just yesterday, she said, yeah, I'll, I'll do this. Um, so thank you for, for being flexible there. Um, and let me see if we can try to get this pulled up for you.
running Street Festival in North Carolina. There will be live music all day, carnival rides, arts and crafts, delicious food, and a pie eating contest. Don't miss the fun in downtown Thomasville. So that was a radio ad that we had done for everybody's weekend, everybody's day, and of course everybody's night. We just trying to promote that, um, you know, for the whole weekend. Not really on more than five. You're invited to every time. So sorry. Okay, there we go. Um, recently, you know, uh, last year was, you know, still kind of coming out of the trenches of COVID. So we kind of focused on a little uh, remodeling, if you will. So we partnered with the city um, uh, because all of our property is the city's property, the depot, the caboose, the, of course, the chair. Um, so we partnered with them and helped with murals, repainting the caboose, repainting the chair. Um, and then we actually updated some of our Civil War trail signs. There's one at the depot, one now by the clock tower, one out by the cemetery. So those are super interesting. Um, so then, of course, we do different things within the community. Um, sometimes, some stuff we do on our own, some stuff we partner, it just depends. So uh, right now, our current thing is we're partnering um, with Beautification for the Holiday Window Decorating Contest. Any business in Thomasville can enter. They decorate their windows, submit photos, and we pick a winner. And as you can see, first place is three hundred fifty dollars. So um, this kind of helps get uh, the town festive and ready because we're all so enthusiastic about Christmas. We do different ads like support local for the holidays. This one down here we did last year, and um, we I've, I'm trying to make a special note to welcome all the new businesses in town, get them oriented with what we do and what the town uh, city has to offer. Um, we promote the farmers market, event venues, and just support the support the community by talking about all the events. Sometimes we go to the events like here. Uh, Donna and I were at Party in the Park a couple weeks ago, so that's why y'all just are getting me almost on the rotary table. Um, we do give out a few grants. We really don't have a very large budget at all, but we do want to partner and support a few different things in the community. So we do that MLK event in January. Uh, of course, we partner with the, the Chamber and uh, Miss Thomasville. Um, and then we just try to attend and set up events and just be good community liaisons. Um, we also work really closely with the High Toms and Hughes Park. You know, Hughes Park's only about five minutes from here, and they draw in a lot of people in and out of town for tournaments and things like that. So we work uh, closely with them, and of course with the uh, Finch House. I'm with Tommy, I'm with Tommy, but um, you know, their summer series and the music events that draw people in is just lovely. Um, these are events that we host. So as you know, we just had everybody's night. Um, and then we have the Christmas parade that's coming up. It's December the 10th at 11 a.m. So we invite you to join us. Um, and thank you so much to Rotary for having a float. These are events where we partnered um, with other folks. Uh, the Sunset Sounds event was Arts Davidson County and Parks and Rec. Um, that was an event in uh, Case Park where we had uh, free live music. We did a little summer solstice yoga event in June. And then we partnered with the High to do the Thomasville All-Stars. I think some of you might have come to that. I know the mayor was there. Um, and uh, that's where we recognize nine All-Stars from Thomasville. So just kind of vary all across, you know, we do all kinds of different things. This was everybody's night. I just wanted to show you some pictures from this year. It was a really big success, and I know a lot of you guys came, and I just want to say thank you so much for supporting us. Um, of course, we operate out of the depot, 44 West Main, and um, I invite you guys to come in anytime. I often hear from people that uh, come in there, you know, I've lived here all my life and I've never come in here before. I didn't know this place was here, or I didn't know this was in here. Um, so come and visit us. Uh, we have some merchandise. Um, of course, we have some more trails. We have some photo opportunities. So uh, we're open 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, uh, except right now I'm here, so we don't have uh, aside from what I do, things like this, we're there. So come in, and we also have really good merchandise. Like, there's not a whole lot of Thomasville merchandise in town. So if you're looking for a gift or something that says Thomasville or something when you're traveling to give someone, we have some good merchandise. And uh, you know, we're not really trying to make a profit. It's pretty reasonably priced. That uh, mug that you see there is ten dollars. So nothing too crazy. Uh, this year, I have been volunteering with the Davidson County Bicentennial, and I just wanted to touch on that. Of course, you know, a big part of our city's uh, our city's cloth is history. So we talk a lot about history in the depot, and we're knowledgeable about it. We actually participated uh, this past Saturday, and I gave the 
tour to uh, about 48 people who came on the bicentennial tour in Thomasville. So it was really nice to have people from out of town exploring and coming on a tour. So if you ever know anybody in town that wants a tour, I'm happy to uh, give them one. Of course, at the Visitor Center, we love our visitors. We have great visitors. Uh, these people are obviously getting their picture taken in front of the big chair, which is one of the city's major draws. Um, and the caboose as well. Uh, I hate that picture got cut off. Those kids are adorable. But they're sitting on the caboose eating their lunch. And um, just different visitors. And of course, we try to do things in the depot to help the community, like Toys for Tots, or you know, sell different items here and there as we can. And then we have Light of the Holidays, hosted by 
Drive Education. Always an incredible event right downtown. That's going to be November the 19th. Free train rides for the kids. You saw Sam's Lab, uh, Carolers, Sam Like Rose, the Switch for the Tree. It's so fun. Uh, we have Journey to Bethlehem, which is the first weekend in December. We have the Christmas Parade, which is uh, December 10th. Did I get that right, Dr. Williams? I got that right, didn't I? You're the second weekend. You're the second weekend. Right? I'm so sorry. Uh, the journey to Bethlehem is the 10th and the 11th, so it's the same day as the Christmas parade, and I should know that. I'm sorry. Uh, so be sure to check that out. And then the Chair City Christmas is going to be on the 16th. Did I get that one right? Okay. <laughs> and then the No Mount Hall of Trees is always incredible. Um, Jane, when do you guys start doing that? Um, they start going up on the Lord's Hall on Wednesday, and we'll have everybody every single week on the last event. Wow. Uh, she said, uh, for those online, uh, they'll start with the Veterans Day, and they'll be on by the end of November. So be sure and check those out if you've never seen them. Um, it's it's kind of show-stopping. I mean, it, plan some time to be there. It's, it's really lovely. So that's all I have for you guys. See who was paying attention. So I brought some more goodies, even more than what's on your table. And I wanted to see does anybody remember the date of the Thomasville Christmas parade for the chance to win a mug? Oh, there's everybody! Oh, it's the only one I saw the raise of hand. Really? Good job. Everybody's coming. Yay! So there's four of these. There's three more chances to win, okay? This year, I am. Woo! November the 12th is the Bicentennial Bash. Way to go. That's great. Um, so don't forget to come out to this event. Um, and if you want to set up a table, it's a free community event. We're not selling anything. It's not a vendor type event. But um, if you want to set up and... Let me say this. If anybody wants to go and participate as a Rotary Club, the Lexington Club already has the table with Rotary set up. All you got to do is show up and mingle. That'd be great. It'd be nice to have some support. Um, and, you know, I love being on this committee. I've met some really wonderful people, but most of them live in Lexington. It'd be really great if we had a little Thomas Hill representation at this county event. You know, show them what we got.
have any questions for tourism? Did the steam engines come through anymore? I've never seen a steam engine in three years. So I did some research on this. I guess uh, COVID put a little damper on that because usually when they come through, they're headed to either from the Great Smokies or to the, the mountains for some type of display, like PT or Spencer or something like that. And I guess those haven't happened in a while. I haven't seen the 611. I haven't seen any of them before. So what he's talking about is, you know, we are at a very popular spot for our rail fans and train watching. People come from all over to come out and take photos in front of Mike's train to invite the depot. Uh, it's a nice flat, long space where you can take really cool photos of the trains going by. For the rest of us, they just slow us down and run away the road. <laughs> Who owns the GMC? Big up truck and set on the main street. Yeah, the GMC is the company that owns the train line. Yeah, the GMC is the company that owns the train line. I'd like to offer to pay for it to be painted. I think it's bad for tourism. Oh, that's funny. That's the same as you. You can take it a darker shade of blue. Is that what you're implying? I mean, I'd go with red, man. Danny was number one in my graduating class. He's smart for a reason. But he actually went to Davis. I see you outside. <laughs> well, thank you all so much for your time and attention. I appreciate it. Cameron, thanks for all that wonderful information. You guys are doing a lot of good work. We appreciate that. And thank you again for uh, being willing to. Uh, Thank you.